speaking of incredible, I don't want to hi- hijack uh, the conversation, but I would love to get some listener questions out if that's okay. Um, as Corey had mentioned earlier, we have uh, a huge uh, Resident Evil fan base. Uh, I myself am a newbie to the Resident Evil franchise, but I love them. And the only Resident Evils that I've played is Re- RE4 Remake, and then I went back and played RE2 <laughs> Remake. So, Which one do you like better? Oh, I ooh, um, I think ultimately I still prefer RE4 Remake because I do like the the action um, aspect of it. But and I, I'll admit I, I wasn't I was terrified of do, playing RE2 because I'm such a weenie. But everyone says it's a great game. It's a great game. It's a great game. You have to. And I have so much you know respect for just how far the franchise has come along. And um, what's that? The police officer Martin or Marvin. 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 I, you made me cry. I was so sad. <laughs> anyway, so um, those are the only two Resident Evil games that I've played. I will play Village soon. I did get that game. But that's why like, I'm a little biased uh, as being a fan of Leon, just because those are the only two games that I've played. And just side note, um, it is true. The uh, Boss Rush community has voted that I will be dressing up as Leon for Halloween. So wish me luck. Okay. So, I see that. Good to um, that. Yes, absolutely. So we have a listener, uh, the one true James. What is your opinion? And th- this can this could be like a two-hour conversation. So it'll be very high level. What's your opinion on the recent SAG deal about AI? Does this satisfy you? If you feel you can answer, do you feel SAG is doing a good enough job representing you as a voice actor? That's I'm gonna have to say that that's in the category of like a long answer. Um, in in the in the spirit of getting to a lot of these, I'll just say, you know, we, we're trying very hard to come to the right decision with all this. AI is scary. I'm an artist, you know, not just an actor, but I'm a, I'm a graphite pencil artist. I do uh, work like that. I'm a musician as well. And AI, the, the first thing it's going to come for, um, I mean, they're already doing it, you know, with AI art, you could just click a button and generate a, an image and stuff. So it's, it's, coming for these industries. And I think just regulation in general is very important. Um, I need to research even more uh, and, and talk to a lot more people before I can give like a, a proper answer. But it's a thing and we're, we're all taking it seriously. Yeah, I mean, I, I love drawing. Just seeing AI art as cool as it looks freaks me out. I write books, sure. I write novels. My fifth novel will be published next year. And I'm like, great, they'll put writers out of business too. But that's enough of my fears. If you want to see how you can become a Patreon producer, head on over to patreon.com slash boss rush network. The Patreon producers for this month are Adriel Munger, Austin Campbell, Celeste Roberts, Christian S. Sana Dierig, Francisco Santilin, Matthew Keel, and Todd Oxtra. Thanks for your continued support of the Boss Rush Network.